Zbelzy and Planty. Extra long one here. Oh, yeah, dub. Spazzy coming right at you with a champion preview. Today we're taking a look at Zack, the blob flubber green thing. He's look he's like a big blob of, of goo. And he looks like flubber. His joke is by far the best one in the league. Anyways, this is obviously from the public paint environment. Things might change, but let's look at the abilities as they stand right now and get a bit of a good grasp what this champion might be when, when it comes out, okay? Let's start off with the abilities uh, right now then, shall we, everyone? Let's go. Uh, start with the passive, Cell Division. Zack is one of those champions whose abilities cost health, and his passive will make it so that every time he lands an ability, he will drop fragments of himself that he can pick up to regenerate some of that health he lost. These blobs disappear after a while, so you need to pick them up within that time limit. He's got another part of the passive, which is kind of like an Anivia egg. When Zack dies, he will split up into four blobs that will start moving towards his corpse again. If any of these blobs reach the corpse, he will come back to life. The amount of health he respawns with depends on how many blobs that make it back to his body. Much like an Ivy's egg, this passive has a cooldown, so you gotta, you know, make sure you know when it's up and down if you're fighting this guy. It definitely sets him up for more aggressive plays early and mid game, I'd say. In late game team fights, these blobs will just melt in the AoE. But again, early and mid game, this can be really potent. His Q is called Stretching Strike. It's a short range ability that deals damage and slows enemies in a line. It feels very much like Maokai's Arcane Smash in that sense, except there's no knockback involved. This feels like the ability that deals uh, most straightforward damage on him. Uh, I'm guessing it's gonna be maxed a lot of the times depending on where you put him, but a very straightforward ability. Hit it to bring utility to the fights, hit it to pin down targets and hit it to do damage. The W is called Unstable Matter, and it is a short cooldown ability that deals a flat amount of damage around Zack. Now, flat means that it doesn't scale with either AP or AD. However, it also deals a percentage of the enemy's maximum health as damage, and that is scaling on AP. The strength of this ability comes from its low cooldown. You will be spamming this in team fights, so you will be using it to slowly tear down the enemy's HP when they're around you, and when you're doing that, you will be proccing your passive, so the ground will be filled with extra HP for you to pick up and sort of like turn the tide of the fight. Now, here comes an interesting ability. The E is called Elastic Slingshot. On the first cast, Zack immobilizes himself, so he stands still on the ground, he starts charging up, and on the second cast, he flings himself in the air, landing at the target location, and the longer you charge, the farther you'll be able to get. If you hit an enemy, uh, you will not only be dealing damage, but you'll also knock the target back. This ability, while it brings massive utility, you do immobilize yourself when you charge it up. So the optimal use here is obviously to initiate ganks, initiate fights. Mid-fight, it will be harder to use, because of the fact that you can get interrupted in your charge and you need to charge it for quite a bit to launch the entire distance. But needless to say, when you do charge it up, uh, you'll be able to launch yourself a large distance, uh, performing very surprising ganks, and this is what I think will be one of the biggest strengths of playing Zack in the jungle. The ultimate is called Let's Bounce, and it's a fitting name, because when you activate it, Zack starts bouncing. He bounces a total of four times, and each bounce has the ability to knock up and slow the targets that you hit. However, if a target is hit more than once, uh, the rest of the bounces will uh, deal a little bit of a reduced damage, and the CC effects will not be there for those bounces. You can see it as a Wukong ultimate. You can only use the CC on every champion in the enemy team once. Zack also gets a little bit of a movement speed buff when he activates this. This is a massive AoE utility and damage ability. It also has the potential of scattering the ground with your passive, which is obviously nice. Just a massive overall utility in teamfights, and, and especially in an AoE setup. This ultimate can really make or break teamfights, I feel like. So really strong. Some final words on Zack, uh, he feels like one of those champions that can really just run in and be a big annoyance to the enemy team. What I found myself doing a lot is just engaging in AoE situations and just spam my abilities to scatter the ground with my passive and then running around picking up that regening a lot of the initial burst that I get from doing that. So really setting up like bait-ish plays with him, which is, uh, to be honest, awesome. Max and cooldown reduction feels like it's gonna be really strong on him. Spirit Visage feels like a no-brainer because of his overall skill set. It feels like a lot of the strong items that you see in this current meta just fits him perfectly. And this is why I think he's gonna be a strong pick in a lot of situations. You guys seem to like that I compare it to Champion, so you guys can get a grasp of what it feels like playing. Uh, it's a bit of Mundo, you know, with the health and everything, but in gameplay it feels like a bit of a Moo Moo mixed with a bit of Singe because of the fact that you'll just be running around going blah, 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 blah. Well, I gotta say, he feels uh, like he's gonna be a versatile pick, and it's gonna be easy to, to you know, get him into most setups, and, and that's a big thumbs up from me. Obviously, guys, feel free to let me know what you thought of this preview by rating it a thumbs up or down. You can also help me out by giving it a little bit of a favy and share it on Facebook and Twitter. If you're new to my channel, go and check it out. I got tons of League of Legends content on there and some other good stuff. I always have a steady flow of content coming, so uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything in the future. And uh, let's say that's it. This has been Spazzy. 
and I am out. Dude!